Greetings my lovelies and thank you for stopping by the channel today. This video is a little bit different of the character dives as you well have noticed. It's probably a character that you are not familiar with if you've never read any of my books. And I can't believe it has taken me this long to actually do a dive on my own characters. And I'm going to rectify that today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into my main character of the Tale of Blaine Darkness series, Mira. So Mira is who I would consider to be the main character of A Tale in Blade and Darkness. A lot of the story tends to flow through her. However, she, there is sort of like a large ensemble of, of, of her cast that have their own story arcs and lines that they kind of have to go through. And we will eventually work through all of them, but today we gotta start out with the main character. So a little bit of Mira's biography. She is an orphan and who grew up in the lower streets of Varence, which is the capital city of Andros. She ran away from the orphanage when she was six, and she ended up meeting Bao, which is her best friend, and they became the leaders of this child thieving guild that had to report to a boss man of, which is a crime boss, of the merchant district. Long of the short, he gives them a job that goes terribly wrong, and she ends up in prison with the death sentence for attempting to steal a holy relic. I should probably mention she's 12 at this time. However, just before she is executed, Lord Julian, which is the king's spy master, breaks her free basically to make her his servant. One of his agents, he tattoos her with a magically binding tattoo around her wrist which not only will identify her to his other agents, but prevent her from acting against him. And then he throws her off to basically get fat up and exposes her to different types of lifestyles. And she's not really quite sure what he's training her for because she spends several years as a farmer. Then she learns how to be a courtesan. And then in his own home, she is basically beaten at any given time and she is subjected to numerous poisonings from her poison master. Eventually, he brings her to the court as his niece, who is recently widowed, gives her the task of befriending the Princess Braylon, who is a bit of a wild card within the courts, but all of this is a farce as he intends to murk the whole royal family and assume power. And Mira decides to defy the odds and go against his wishes. And that is all that I'm going to tell you because I don't want to spoil anything else. Her first character arc is learning to let down her walls to let people in and actually admit that she cares about people. Because she grew up in an orphanage and she grew up on the streets, she has a lot of trust issues and just for her own safety, she just like refuses to acknowledge that she has friends, that her friends are her family, and that she actually cares about people. Her other one is learning to let go of the expectations of what her past dictates that she should be. Not only as a thief and a spy assassin, but also her currently unknown heritage that she has pretty much just put on the back burner because she's very much a I'm gonna handle the immediate problem. This is not an immediate problem, so I will worry about that later, if ever. She also has to work on overcoming some of her selfish tendencies because initially, in the beginning, all she ever wants to do is free. In the orphanage, she had no power or control. As a child thief, she had no power or control. And now as the agent of Julian, she has no power and control over the course of her life. And all she wants to do is just enjoy the pleasures of the world, whatever they may be, get on that ship and sail across the horizon, Captain Jack Sparrow style, and never look back. Now those are all of her arcs. They clearly kind of tie into some of her traits, but I'm going to go ahead and lay out her positive and negative traits because we all have positive and negative traits. Mira is very intelligent. She grasps concepts quickly. She can read the room. She has street smarts and thanks to Lord Julian's training, she now has book smarts as well. As much as she tries to deny it, she actually is quite kind. She can be protective of people that she perceives as hers and she's also very blunt. She's not gonna sugarcoat things and to make you feel better if she feels like you just need it clear and concisely like hey you don't really understand how the world works because you have lived a very sheltered life 
what you're trying to do is completely infeasible and also insulting to those who you are saying that you are trying to help. Cut the shit out. You want to see the real world? Let's go. However, not everyone always takes that the bus, and some people may think that as a negative trait, but she's not really doing it out of malice. She just doesn't have time to sugarcoat things, and she cuts to it very, very directively. Of her negative traits, she lies to herself a whole lot. She lies about the feelings that she has for her friends and other characters, and she lies about what she truly wants. She keeps saying that she wants to just drop everything and go be free and just enjoy it while the world still exists. And yet every action that she makes is completely counteractive to what she says that she wants to do. Because let's be honest, she really wanted to drop everything and say, you know what, that's you guys' problem, I'm sorry, I'm going to go dilly dally off and go do this mess and enjoy my last few maybe years or so of freedom. She could honestly do that, but yet she keeps staying in the thick of things, sticking her neck out for people that she claims she doesn't like. And on the same note, she is very, 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 very stubborn. <laughs> She will be slapped right in the face with the truth of her action and be like, mm, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. I really want to do this. No, I'm not changing this factor. Or completely just bulldozing through in something that she wants. So stubborn kind of can go either way to way on this one. Mira has been absolutely fun for me to write because she doesn't quite take herself so seriously. And she is probably one of the few characters that I've seen, reading-wise or written-wise, that is honestly just very pragmatic, which is not something that I am in particularly, which is kind of fun to write because I am a very emotional and instinctive acting person. She typically thinks about things, sees the truth of it, and is like, all right, we're going to clear out all this bullshit and just go with it, um, which has been really fun to write about. So that is Mira, the main character of A Tale of Light and Darkness. I do hope you enjoy this video. I will be going through the rest of the characters as I sort of truck through things. In other news, I will be at GalaxyCon in Raleigh this year. I am working with the lovely pop-up bookshop, so I will be there with a bunch of other indie authors. You might even see me on a couple of panels. So if you are in the Raleigh area and you are going to be there, please stop by, even if only just to say hello. I'll be giving away some freebies as well as selling the first three volumes of A Tale of Blade and Darkness. The other two are in the works. I promise you I'm already working on the fourth book. There are going to be five total in it all together, so plenty of time for you to read through the first three, and the fourth one should be ready by then, and then by the time you're done with the fourth, it's just a short way to the fifth. <laughs> If you want to see what else I'm doing out and around the world, go ahead and follow all of my social media links down here below. Also, if you would like to purchase signed copies and other types of merchandise, you can head over to my TikTok shop and you can purchase them there. I have things like character inspired stickers with Spotify playlists that I have carefully, carefully cur curated to give the general vibe of the characters and their story, as well as character candles bookmarks, there's a colored map from the story, and a whole bunch of other stuff. If not, just follow along and enjoy the crazy antics that is my life. So that is all that I have time for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your week. Thank you for subscribing, whether you are new or old, and we will continue to try to have fun and have a great time. And before I skilly dally on, if there is a character that you would like for me to dive into like I did with Mira today, please comment them down below. I will look into it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.